Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial session, we will see how to install Wine on Mac OS in easy way. This process is very straightforward. So what is the use of Wine? Those who don't know about this, let me tell you the thing. With the help of Wine, you can simply install and run the Windows application on your Mac OS. Let's begin. Open a browser, just type Wine download for Mac OS and then open the first result in new tab here you can see the page the official page uh, from the wine software and here the description is written what is all about and how does it work so this is the different method and uh, when you see the latest releases so here we have uh, two different releases uh, one First one is the stable and the second one is under development. So we will proceed with the stable one, right? When you come to this page, we have to click on the link. After that, you will be navigated to the different page. This is the download page of the Vine. When you scroll down, you will see some versions for the Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora and Mac OS. Just click on Mac OS, right? And then again, you will see the different page. Here, the process is defined through the homebrew. Those who are familiar with the homebrew, they can proceed with the instruction of the homebrew, right? But, but those who are not comfortable with the brew, so I will tell you the another method so you can easily install it. So we are going to follow the installation setup, which is hosted on the GitHub. So this is the GitHub link where we will get the application wine application package right so the same link given in the description so you guys can get the link from that place come to the browser and put the link in the address bar press enter and then you will see this page 9.0 rebuild 3 this is the latest release when you scroll down you will see the section assets if your uh, if this node is not expanded so you can simply click and show this and click and show the contents inside so we have to click on the first link wine is table 9.03 when you click and this tar.xz file will start downloading once the downloading is finished we have to go inside the downloads folder and then you have to simply double click on this file basically this is a zip file and the unzip utility will start unzipping it so we have to wait few seconds once the file is unzipped we will see the application like this with this icon wine stable right the next step we have to do we have to simply drag and drop this application inside the application folder like this you can go here in the applications folder open the location and now let me open the downloads folder so i will pick this wine stable and i will drop it here in the applications folder okay this step is done now we need to simply launch this application so do the double click on this and wait for a few seconds then you will see this message that this application has not been downloaded via the verified developers right so system showing the warning so again we have to go to the apple icon then go to the system settings here you will have the option privacy and security and just to scroll down and here you will see the section security where you are getting the message open anyway just click this button because our application is not downloaded from the app store or our and after that you will see this message box and here you have to give the admin password please give the system password and then click OK and this warning will disappear right 
and wait for seconds then again launch and you will see the pop-up click open again you will see the message like uh, application want to access the folder so please grant the permission and then you will see this ZSH and once it is open we don't need to do anything on this place we simply close it because this is kind of initialization of application because we are doing it first time right and close the rest of the windows that's it now guys so the installation is done now we will verify the installation to verify the installation we will download a windows application and then we will install and run it so i am choosing the beyond compare so i'm going to download it from the internet so i will choose the windows version windows exe file so this is the download page just click and the downloading is started okay once the downloading is finished we need to simply go to the downloads folder and you can see this time uh, the wine uh, icon is appearing on this exe and uh, you can see the type this is windows executable okay now wine software will take care of this installation right when you do a double click you will see a message click allow And then you will see this prompt then again click allow he wants to access the desktop then wants to access the documents we have to give the permission wait for a few seconds after that you will see this first installation window of the beyond compare you can proceed this as the steps is mentioned click next and this is the installation location click next and you sim simply checked all the icons no worries or you can uncheck it or simply click next and finally click on the install button very soon this will be installed and the instance will be launched at the back end now you can see beyond compare application is running properly on your mac os now we can proceed with the beyond compare this means fine installation is successful on your mac os now you can do you can install any windows application on your mac os and you can use flawlessly so this wine software is very useful thing i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and you can subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help